When a person's first starting out online, they might want to try and start a course using a PowerPoint presentation. And oftentimes they only have one computer and no other monitor. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about how to record a PowerPoint presentation and read the script in the same screen. Before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go. Check it out. Now, let's assume that you've started online and you've decided that you want to be able to create a course and you're only fairly new at all this and you don't really know what you're doing 100%. And what you need to do is you need to look at doing things like niche research and you do all that sort of stuff. You do your due diligence, you do your niche research, you research to make sure that it's a popular topic, one that people will want to actually buy and see, one that people are interested in. And you know that it's something that, that people want. You've gone into JVZoo, you've gone into ClickBank, you've gone into Udemy, you've gone into Skillshare, and you've seen people selling and buying these products. And you go, okay, I can create one around the same topic, but I want to do it as a presentation on PowerPoint. So what do I do? So he goes, they decide, okay, I'm going to create my PowerPoint slides. And they sit there and they create all their PowerPoint slides and they make it really lovely and making it looking really nice. And they've gone in on YouTube and they've seen all the various courses that they can do on how to make their PowerPoint look really pretty. They write their script, they get everything all ready. And all of a sudden they go, um, I only have one screen. What? do I do? How am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to print this paper up and then make sure I have it all in the right order and then flip it over, try and hide the page turning sound? How do I do all this and still make it look good? Well, we've got you covered. Where we are right now is we're in PowerPoint, as you can see, and we are in one of my courses. Now, over here, this is called Monetization Made Easy, YouTube Monetization Made Easy, in fact. I might actually put that in there. There we go. That way it makes it, people know what it's about then. Okay, so put that up here. There we go. Now, what we need to do is you can then present this first page as you go. But what you need to do is you need to set up your PowerPoint slide first so as you can do this. Now, I know this works on PowerPoint 365, and I believe it can also be done as far back as PowerPoint 2016. So what you need to do is you need to go over here to the slideshow section and you click on that. And over here, you'll see it's got play narration, you've got use timing, then you've got show media. But over here is what you want to look for, use presenter view. Now, ordinarily, it'll come up as automatic. And if you only have one screen, well, if you have that one ticked, you'll then have presentation view come up on the one screen that you're at. Now, because I have two screens, I have to go like this. I'm going to click on primary monitor. And what that does is it records or fills up my primary monitor and then allows my secondary monitor to be used as a presenter view. Now I'm doing that primarily because I want to show you what presenter view looks like. Now before we go any further, I want to also show you something else that you can do. Now over here, I'm going to go down to this slide just here. Now over here down the bottom, you'll see where it says notes. You click on that. And as you can see, an area just opened up for me. Now I'm going to open that up so you can see what's here. As you can see, I actually have notes that I've written right here. What we need to do is then pull that down so you can see what you're doing. And then you start your recording. Say, for example, you have Camtasia or you decide that you're going to capture a certain area on the screen. I would strongly suggest that you get a screen recorder that will be able to capture an area that you decide to set. Say, for example, from this corner to this corner here. Now, the reason why I say that is so as you can, in fact, have it work for you. Now, let's go on over here. I'm going to hit from current slide and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go there. And in just a moment, you'll see the presenter view come up here. What you need to do is you need to be able to record from this area here down to this area here. Now, if I was to take this all the way back to the very beginning, go back over here, this is what it would come up with. No notes over here on the right hand side. As I scroll over, I would then introduce you. Welcome to the introduction of this course. Then you move over. And this is where you start to make the difference. You can read the first part. The whole premise of this video is to make money online on YouTube before you have ever reached YouTube's milestones. And then as you read through, you continue reading down. And then when you see this part here, you see how I've got that there a bit thicker? 
that is in fact bolded. You can't highlight it, but you can bolden it. And by having it boldened, you can then see this is where I now need to do it. So what you would do with this particular case is, so what are YouTube milestones? Simply put, to become an accepted on the YouTube Partnership Program, you need to have, and then you go, and then you then click this area here, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a single year. And then you can scroll up, continue reading, and make sure you just go under here. You don't cover this area here. You go under here, and you just constantly go backwards and forwards like this. And as you go through, you go and you read the area, and then you go over to your next screen. And you do all your, yeah, you have it all come up really nicely. And then you do all that. It's as simple as that. And then once you've gone through your entire course, you can either do it where you have continued going through, you're covering your lesson one. And then once you've done your lesson one, or it's your introduction in this particular case, you can then turn it off or continue recording the video. Now, if you've made lots and lots of mistakes in the first part of recording, you might want to turn it off and then fix up your mistakes and then go ahead and record the next video. Or if you decide that this is that's just way too hard, what I want to do is I want to record it all in one sitting and then I want to edit it all in one go. That would probably be the better way of going. So let me show you what that's mean, what I mean by that. Say, for example, you decided that you're going to go through and you put all your notes in these areas. You make sure that every section has all the right highlighted areas and so forth. And as you go through, you make sure it's all done properly. Now, let me show you one where this one I'll do. Uh, let me go here. OK, so upload link, uh, physical digit. OK, so unique link just here. So you've got unique link there. So I've already got the first point just there. This is where I would then change the change the point where it's thicker and highlighted. And this is the next point point in which I would do it. So now what you would also want to do is if you don't make too many mistakes, you can then go through as you get to this point here, you can pause at this particular video. Let me just bring that down for one second. Go here, go from current slide. And you know, by looking at your screen that you have got this point here, you know, that that's going to be the next one coming up because you can see what's coming up and you've read through here and you get to this point down here and you go pause. And when you pause, what's going to happen is it's going to give you the opportunity to then start on the next screen. And then you can then have that one going and then you go across to here and then you can start reading from here. And what that does is it allows you to be able to continue in one particular go. And you can finish an entire course in at least one day or a couple of hours. Usually if you do this in a couple of hours, it will take only a couple of hours to go all the way through from one slide to the next until you have actually gone through your entire course. And that is highly recommended that that is how you do it. Once you've gone through all these points here, as you can see, it's a long bit of script. And when you get to this point, you can see this is the next one. You get to the last point here, let them know about upcoming launches and offer them exclusive discounts. Pause two or three seconds, then move over to the next one and then continue on. And that is exactly how you would present your course using a PowerPoint presentation. Can this be done on any other software? I don't know. I don't know if this can be done on Keynote or Google Slides. I couldn't tell you because I've never done it on Google Slides or Keynote. You can do your own research. And if you happen to know for sure that it can be done like this using a presenter view like this on Keynotes and also Google Slides, please let me know in the comment down below and tell me whether or not it can be done that way. All right, guys, if you got value out of this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and also hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Hey, while you're at it, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe Alright guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and bye for now.